Hello everyone and welcome to a new After Effects tutorial. I'm Tony King and in this, and, and in this tutorial, sorry, uh, we will be making the arrival uh, alien language. Sorry, let me close that. Um, yeah, so we are going to be making the alien arrival language animation and this is the answer to a request that I received on YouTube uh, this morning. Uh, so, um, this actually is coming from let me pull it up real quick. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, from Hughes Marlton, they say, Is there any way you could make an, a tutorial on an animated circle from the language of the aliens? I want to make a cool little intro out of one, but I can't figure out how to make it. And that was on the tutorial I made for the arrival titles from the trailer. So I'm assuming they actually meant the alien language from arrival. If not, just uh, specify. In the comments but uh, so I made this tutorial now it's not perfect it's not as smoky as it is in the film um, but I did this with no third-party plugins uh, just so you know people don't have to worry about uh, using any extra you know cost or anything like that because most uh, After Effects users I think don't actually have such resources uh, myself included but uh, yeah enough of that here it is Alright, there you go. And uh, I'd be flattered if you thought I could draw this myself, but um, no, I just googled alien arrival uh, drawing or uh, language, I think. And I downloaded the picture, it does have a white background, and I did go into Photoshop to take out the white background. Now, I could, I could theoretically have gone into uh, After Effects and uh, did classic color burn blending mode, but uh, that wouldn't have worked out for the effect and I'll tell you that later but uh, basically I did come in here and I used a magic color brush to take away the white um, and then I saved it as a Photoshop file and since we're in all these After Effects uh, and all these Adobe products we can bring in a Photoshop file into After Effects Hold up, let me go back here one last time and show you that I do have two I have this one and I have another you should be able to find even more than this um, on Google Images, uh, but also if you want to draw your own, I would recommend drawing it in um, Photoshop. Uh, it's probably easier, and make sure you don't have a background. Um, and I'm about to show you why. So basically, import your uh, Photoshop files and make a new comp. I called mine uh, language. Uh, just make it the size of your final comp is easiest, probably, and size it how you want it to be sized later. And uh, all right, so I do have the background, uh, which is actually copied from my other uh, arrival tutorial. So if you want a more in-depth look at how to make that, uh, make sure to check it out. It is quickly just a pale blue solid with four color gradient, uh, like that, and a dark gray solid, sort of like this, uh, put together uh, like that. Yeah, that's just quick. Uh, if you want further details on that, make sure to check out the other tutorial. I'm going to be focusing on the symbol in this tutorial. So here we have uh, our Photoshop uh, file, and as we can see here, it's easily mo movable, and it is just the symbol. I know the, the the size is bigger, but that's just because of the size of the file. This is the actually only real thing included, uh, and to get it, this is actually why uh, you can't do classic color burn. If you did, uh, then this next part would have worked. So you have to go up to layer and hit auto trace. What this is going to do is create a, a new solid with a mask around um, your the layer you have selected everything in it. If you did classic color burn, uh, it, would, it would find the edges and make just a rectangle, which is a pain. Uh, so, so here I have my solid. It's going to make a white solid, but I went ahead and made it gray. And um, as you can see here, it's not going to come out so blurry. Don't be, don't don't worry. Uh, see, there's an incredible amount of points in this mask, so it would have taken me hours to make, and uh, I would have given up after 
two minutes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so let me say luck this mask and made two for me. Um, I'm focusing on mask one because it's a really big one. And uh, all right, so it is heavily feathered out. That's why it's gonna look so solid because if you see, uh, it is just gray. I did change the color from black as it was originally um, and made it this sort of gray solid. So it sort of has a uh, almost a diffraction. And I'll get back to why I had to uh, had to make it more feathered at the beginning, uh, just in a second. So here is my main comp. As you can see, I have seven different versions of this uh, language comp that we just uh, went through, and and of course the background and the little music sound effect that I have on it. Um, okay, so here in this language comp. I'm going to focus just on the bottom one because the effects are just uh, copy pasted basically. I'm going to turn off the visibility of all these layers. So pretty much I split, this is a circle, so I split it into a pie basically. So I made six different versions of this, um, just a quick run through here. Uh, as you can see there are six different uh, Plots of it are pieces of the of this pie um, that are uh, just a mask, a triangular mask. Um, and as you can see, the anchor point is actually the center of the circle. As uh, we kept, as I kept the um, alien symbol in the center. If you if you don't want it, the symbol to be in the center of your shot, uh, just make sure that the anchor point of of um, that layer is actually the center of the circle um, just so that this is easier because I saw different versions of creating this uh, symbol it came from the left to the right from the right to the left but uh, since I don't I'm not using making it very smoky as it is in the film I just uh, opted to go ahead and make it the one that sort of comes from this his hand would be or well device I guess hand device I don't know what you would call it uh, come is in the center I guess right here I'm pointing my finger at the screen and uh, you can't really see that so I don't know why I'm doing that but whatever um, so it would be right here and just coming out uh, straight I did I could actually animate probably uh, the hand so uh, if you do want me to try that uh, comment down below and I will uh, if it's good, I guess I, I can make a tutorial on that as well. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what I did here. Um, of course, I, I did uh, use a mask um, here, as I already said, and there's a feather on that mask too, but I, I will tell you that in a second. And uh, what I was thinking is it came out, the smoke it makes it a bit turbulent, so turbulent displays all right uh, here is here are all the effects from turbulent displays but it's very hard to show you on this so I'm actually going to go ahead and duplicate this layer and uh, turn off the uh, scale animation just uh, and the actual actually the uh, math class animation as well as we'll get back to that and uh, I'll turn off this bottom just so that we can look at the uh, turbulent displays um, by itself. So here you should you see that uh, these are all just a frame over and I did not have offset so I'll just go ahead and turn that off and I do have that feather on still but okay that's not going to make a big difference. Um, okay so uh, here we have our little piece of the pie and with, I always like to start at the end on this sort of thing uh, that sort of uh, when you I, st I like to start at the end I guess when you're coming from nothing to something uh, which this sort of is and so basically the amount is at zero I'm going to come in the effects uh, control panel here uh, just to show you I did uh, first and foremost I did do the displacement type as bulge and I did zero the size is 100 so it's just regular complexity one that's the lowest and evolution zero so I did go ahead and keyframe all of those and go to the very start um, 
so let's start out here with the amount. I did go negative because we're sort of uh, coming from nothing to something. So at first I had uh, like positive 100. Let me show you what that looks like. It does get a bit messy, in the, in, as you can see here. It's uh, this seem you would think it seems a little bit more smoky, but it is quite messy actually uh, coming in. But uh, I always I thought that uh, negative 100. Point two worked better for me. It's sort of uh, like a smoky strain of of the puzzle, I guess, or of, of the symbol. And the size, I didn't go very far down. I went only to 52.1. Again, if I went any lower, it come out a bit messy. And the complexity, I didn't make it too complex, as you can see here. It's uh, still pretty normal. Uh, it is very soft, actually as well um, so I just 4.1 and in the evolution actually just negative 28 uh, so it doesn't actually change that much going into it as you can see here it's sort of a uh, sliver slithers uh, sort of into a uh, straighter line um, messier line all right I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and let's go back to the main one with the actual um, mask animation so let's go into this mask and see what we're doing. So pretty much I was thinking sort of each little point, which I have six I guess, um, opens up and then they connect. So originally I just had our um, three spots, but I wanted to open up and sort of uh, shoot out. So basically what I did is I actually just went a couple frames back and I closed this uh, triangle, well, not all the way, just pretty much like that. And then I moved the uh, keyframe all the way to the back, uh, to the start of this uh, composition, or of this effect, you know, and uh, so that it sort of opens up and then connects. But then, uh, if I if I have no um, feathering, uh, it's, as you can see, it's a very solid. It's a very jagged, solid line, so that did not look good at all. But it, I didn't want it to go too fast, uh, especially at the start. Uh, yeah, at the start. Um, so at the end, it is zero, of course. And then, but uh, this is three or four or five frames back, it is 24.6. And at the start, it is at 54. So it's a bit slow all the way to the end. And pretty much at this point, uh, they are connecting, uh, as you can see, once they start. Uh, Coming back, so that really shows that they're sort of just snapping together, uh, like my hands just clap together. But yet again, you cannot see my hands, so I don't know why I'm doing hand representations. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, and final thing, uh, I think I already mentioned this, but the scale, um, since the anchor point is in the middle, all you have all you have to do is uh, go from 100 to zero and it's and it comes up from the middle uh be, yeah as you can see here well that's actually really messy um so like a blob and uh it just comes in like that so i know this isn't very smoky like it is uh if you want me to look further into that i can definitely do that um for you guys just uh, request that request that down below and I'll do my best but uh, yeah this is the basic intro animation for that and then what I did was I split all these layers and only kept one of course I took out the uh, an intro animation and I in the mask and I kept turbulent this place and I wanted this to sort of keep the motion and I wanted it just to be still so uh, first and foremost I set the size to 95.4 and then the amount to 3 so it's not incredible, uh, but it's still noticeable. The complexity is still one. The evolution, I started at 39 degrees. Uh, nothing significant about that. And at the end, at first I had a five or six on the amount of evolutions, but I kept it down to three so it wasn't too crazy, and just 98, just so that it doesn't end in the same place it started. Uh, that's just a, um, a tip for anything really I think um, when you're doing evolution it can work on a lot of effects 
uh, when you do change this zero to any number that basically adds a full rotation to that so that's why it's at 121 right now um, so basically uh, so now the final thing I always say so basically even before I'm done okay <laughs> so, so as, you, as we can see I promise to come back to this uh, we do have a feather uh, for the start so this is sort of like actually a blur in um, but I was thinking because at the when it comes in it's not already solid it has to sort of materialize it into its place so this is not it's not a fade in it's a blur in and I found found it to be easier actually editing the actual component which would be the language cop so I went in and I started at 69 feather and all the way down to 22 and yeah and that's how I think it should look at the end I'm supposed to turn these off here back uh, just uh, for safety I guess <laughs> um you know just to stay consistent and to look better so this is actually all just one cop edited several times into another comp you know pretty much and uh, also I wasn't sure what but um, the request meant by like a title intro I guess uh, so I went ahead and I took the freedom to add the title of Arrival I also put Tony King uh, on the other version of this uh, alien um, symbol that I that I animated and I used Arrival I just copy pasted the same um, text um, layer from uh, my other arrival tutorial so if you want to know about this animation it's a uh, blur in pretty much uh, pretty simple but I did do a tutorial on how to do this pretty neat uh, uh, title intro so I, I'd really appreciate it if you go check that out if you haven't already but uh, yeah I just put that on top and uh, well I'm, I just mumbled on for a very long time it feels but that is the basic effect uh, well basic it's not extremely basic, but uh, once you get it, I guess it's pretty straightforward thinking about it. But I did make a couple versions of this with and without the uh, titles and two different ones I I have. Of course, there are several more on the internet you can find. I have no idea what this symbol means. I should. I'm actually a huge fan of the film Arrival. I do think it should have won the Oscar for um, uh, Best Picture. But it didn't have a chance. I don't. I don't think it was, it was the underdog, I guess, uh, because it's sci-fi really. But um, I'm glad Moonlight won. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but uh, yeah, I am glad Moonlight won, especially over La La Land. I'm not much into musicals, really. Uh, sorry, musical lovers, but uh, I thought Moonlight was better. But, yeah. Why am I telling you this in a rival story? Okay, whatever. Don't don't click away yet, please. Whatever. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you did make it this far, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. For more content, make sure you go down and request uh, what tutorials you'd like me to make. Uh, I'd be glad to make those and to work on those as quick as I can, you know. I've got a lot of projects I'm working on right now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, actually, to, uh, so I know you're supporting me. Because, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm speaking like you can see me, but you can't. And I've, I'm, I've gone for like two minutes. I've, I finished telling you how to do the effect two minutes ago, and I'm still talking. Okay, I'm going to stop right now. But I have to tell you thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Well, now I won't. Oh, gosh. Okay, bye.